Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and I would like to talk a bit about the Apple Watch Series 3 today after using it for a week. So there are some things about the LTE connectivity that were not made clear during the Apple Keynote, so I hope I can inform you if you have an Apple Watch Series 3, or help you decide if you don't have one already. So first, your carrier in the US is going to charge you 10 bucks a month to be able to use the Apple Watch LTE alongside your iPhone. So the watch has an eSIM and it uses the same number as your iPhone. And it must be used with an iPhone to work entirely as intended, though some standalone LTE functions still work with your SIM in an Android phone in my testing. Like you can make a phone call or you can use iMessage. Supported app data works, but it's not going to sync notifications with your phone and you need an iPhone to begin with to start it up. So what can you do with this watch over LTE while away from your iPhone? which is the entire point of getting the LTE model of the watch. There are two different scenarios. There is the scenario where you can connect to LTE while your iPhone is on and also where your iPhone is off or in airplane mode. And yes, some people do this. So while your phone is on and you are away from your phone, you're able to use the LTE of the Apple Watch to make calls, send messages, which includes iMessages and texts, and use supported apps. Note that not all apps are supported, at least while you are away from your phone. Now, when you switch your phone off and you're connected to LTE, or just say you put your SIM in a non-iPhone, you can make calls, send iMessages, and use supported apps. Now, I didn't mention text because when your iPhone isn't on, you can't send text. Yes, you heard me. When your iPhone is not on, you can't send text with the watch. And I actually discovered this after a lot of angst. If you don't believe me, this is according to Apple's own documentation, to which they say to receive SMS or MMS on your Apple Watch Series 3, GPS plus cellular, your paired iPhone must be powered on and connected to Wi-Fi or cellular, but it doesn't need to be nearby. So this is going to be the same with every carrier that the Apple Watch Series 3 supports, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile. And their pages will even tell you this same thing. And I've asked a lot of people and got a lot of anecdotal evidence. So yes, this sucks. It's going to anger some people. So what seems to be happening is that the phone will forward the text messages to your watch. But interestingly, you can still make phone calls and use data for some apps entirely independent of your phone. So it doesn't matter if it's on or off. Now for most people, this is not going to matter because who's gonna turn off their phone really? But for me and for a lot of people, this kind of stinks because the whole point of having an LTE watch for me is to be able to send and receive texts even if my SIM isn't in my iPhone or if the battery dies, that happens. So let's repeat this. You can make calls with the iPhone off, which is going to kill your battery in an hour or send iMessages to Apple devices. But if the person you want to contact doesn't have an iPhone, you are out of luck. So to me, the LTE feature feels kind of useless. If there's someone out there who fully understands why the texts have to be forwarded from the phone to the watch, that would be great. Now, as far as if the watch is connected to Wi-Fi without your phone around, you should be able to make calls with Wi-Fi calling if your network supports it, send iMessages, and use supported apps. If anyone experiences anything different, just let me know. So now I've just told you how the Apple Watch Series 3 is supposed to work with LTE, but since release, there's been a lot of bugs. I want to approach some of those. Myself, personally, I have never been able to send a text message at all, and this doesn't matter if I have my iPhone switched on or off. Apple doesn't know why this is, and T-Mobile tells me that it's Apple's fault, but I can send iMessages through just fine. So everyone is just kind of all over the place right now. And yes, I sometimes experience the dreaded Wi-Fi bug where the watch will try to connect to an unauthenticated Wi-Fi network when I want it to actually connect to LTE instead. So toggling the airplane mode button does fix this, or I found that you can go into your phone, reset the network settings, and your phone is going to forget all the Wi-Fi networks that it previously connected to, so you stop having this problem. A lot of people have been issues with getting their watch set up and working on their network. Thankfully, I didn't have any issues on T-Mobile but I did find it helpful to call your carrier first and have the watch added to your plan and then go on your phone and add the watch and set it up. I should think that eventually everything is going to be sorted with the watch and it will work as intended as I cited earlier, but I have found the experience to be truly frustrating and this is a first generation LTE product. 
So keep in mind, if you never leave your phone behind, paying 10 bucks a month just isn't worth it. And not being able to text unless my iPhone is on for whatever the reason may be, makes the worth dubious overall. So I say wait a few months or until the next generation Apple Watch with LTE, save yourself the money and the headache. Just get the tethered version of the watch. Now I normally don't do ratings, but in this situation I feel like, I just feel like it. So I give the watch itself a nine out of 10. It's my favorite wearable so far, but the LTE for what it actually does for the money, like a two out of 10, and that's being generous. So I hope that this video has been helpful to you guys. After all the work that I've done, I've seen that really nobody has been ready for the release of this product. So this has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your experiences below. Make sure to hit the notification bell on my channel. That way you don't miss future videos. And have a good day.